What's up, kids? Um, so, Mike did a video about his favorite uh, developers, publishers, so I guess I'll do a video about my favorite developers, publishers. Um, in no particular order, because I really can't put this in a particular order. So, and first of all, we'll start off with um, Team Silent. So we got Silent Hill 1, and yeah, I was never able to get the full version, I just got the disc. Whatever. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill 4. There you go. Team Silent, uh, I think that they were great developer or publisher, what do you want to call it? I guess they were developer or publisher. But anyway, they were a great developer. Um, I think that the, they basically, Team Silent made probably the best survival horror games uh, that's out today. Or that's available today, I guess. Not really out, but available. Um, yeah, basically, I don't think Resident Evil really holds the candle. I don't think Alone in the Dark really holds the candle. I mean, none of those games or franchises really hold the candle to the first four Silent Hill games. I mean, it's just, uh, I think that they're just remarkable. So, uh, moving on, my next uh, favorite developer is uh, Sega AM2 brought us such classics as um, Virtual Racer, Virtua Fighter, Virtua Cop, oh look, Virtua Fighter Kids, yeah, yeah. Also they brought us uh, 18 Wheeler, and they brought us Shin Mu, yeah, and they also brought us uh, Outrun and Outrun 2 and Outrun, what was it, 2? 20, 28 or something like that. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, I mean, basically when it comes to Sega games, and more importantly when it comes to arcade games, uh, and even Dreamcast games, I really think that, um, AM2 probably made the best games for those particular, um, I guess, uh, platforms. Uh, especially Shinmu. And, uh, I mean, I was blown away whenever I played OutRun 2 as well. I mean, the visuals were just breathtaking, basically. So yeah, there's that um, Sega AM2. Another one of my favorite developers is uh, Digital Pictures, <laughs> which brought us Corpse Killer, and brought us Ground Zero Texas, they brought us Night Trap. They brought us Quarterback Attack. Yeah, yeah. And they brought us Double Switch. Among others. Um, they also were responsible for the highly acclaimed uh, Make Your Own Video Games. And also responsible for Sewer Shark and um, Prize Fighter. Um, I know there's more. I'm just, uh, I don't have them at the moment. So, yeah, but uh, whenever, just like Mike, whenever I was a kid, my cousin, he would always get the biggest and baddest uh, video game consoles. So I go over to his house and he had a Sega CDX in 95 or 94. I think it was May of 95, I think. But anyway, so I go over there and he had the Sega CDX and he's like, dude, you got to see it. So he puts in Prize Fighter. I never seen anything like it before. I was blown away. Uh, FMV visuals, or no more video game characters. We're talking full actors, video, and everything. So I was like, I have to get a Sega CD, and I made it my goal to basically get as many FMV games as I possibly could. And I've almost got the collection shored up. Uh, well, as far as Sega CD and Sega Saturn goes, I don't have a 3DO, and and there is so many on the PC. I, I'm not even gonna get started on that. But uh, basically, I want to get, uh, I've almost got all the F&B games for the Saturn and the Sega CD. So, um, yeah, uh, there's that, my, one of my favorite uh, developers, Digital Pictures. Then my third, or fourth, uh, developer, publisher, they're actually a developer and publisher. I'm going to mention in this uh, series here. is uh, Bethesda Softworks, which brought us such epic classics as 
The Elder Scrolls 3 in Morrowind. The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. The Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. And Fallout 3 in the year edition. It's very no expense. Um, I have a Elder Scrolls 1 Arena and Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall, but I just pirated those because um, my I'm not really that big into playing PC games at all. Um, eh, Arena was cool, but I just couldn't get into the dynamics of having to move your mouse around like that. To, to, to make the guy slash his sword, you have to move the mouse in the direction you want him to slash the sword or, or go straight to having jab. Eh, it was just too complicated. Just Morrowind, that's basically probably one of my five. It is in my top five favorite games of all time. And uh, so it was Marwin that introduced me to the developer, and uh, I was just blown away at that point. And pretty much at that point, I was like, I have to have every single action adventure RPG game that this company makes because they know how to make action RPG games. Square Enix should take a note from these guys. Definitely should take a note from these guys. But uh, yeah, I guess that's all there is to it. I really don't have much else to say. Um, I just wanted to talk about my four favorite uh, developers or publishers, whatever. So just to recap, we got uh, Team Silent, we got Sega AM2, we got Digital Pictures, and we got Bethesda Softworks. So um, yeah, thank you for watching the video, and until next time, peace out.